Hi Aquarius, welcome to your monthly love reading for April 2018. This is a general reading, so for further messages, please check your Venus, Moon or Rising sign videos. And you can also cross watch your love interests reading as well. If you would like a private reading with me, I will put information on the screen and in the description box. So all the information you need for private readings is in the description box. Okay, so let's get into your reading. So in the past... I feel like it's definitely not been easy. Um, there's definitely been some heartbreak here, okay? And I feel like you're working on healing it, okay? And I feel like it's um, slowly but surely healing because the page of Ariel is the page of pentacles. Um, you know, she's learning, you know, she's like a student. So it's like you're learning um, slowly but surely how to kind of heal. So I don't know what this heartbreak is, but I feel like you are definitely trying to heal from it. This says an excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or, um, or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. But, you know, the overall um, message of the page of Ariel is... You know, she's a student, so you are definitely learning how to handle whatever kind of issues you're going through um, and, you know, learning how to deal with the heartbreak. You know, I feel like you're slowly but surely coming through it. So in your present, you do have past life relationships, so you have known each other before. So there's some unfinished business between you and this person. So this could, um, you know, this, so... This is a reconciliation for those of you who are separated from someone. Um, the Three of Swords could be that um, down to some kind of ending that happened. But um, if that's the case, then, you know, there's unfinished business. So this also speaks about a bond that you and this person have as well. You know, um, so this can signify somebody from your past returning and this has been a huge element for a lot of signs um i find that when i do do the monthly readings um the readings are never quite the same but they all share like a common theme so i feel like the theme for everyone or for the majority of signs for um may is reconciliation so i feel like someone is going to make an effort to reconcile with you or is going to put work into this relationship okay because you've got the six of pentacles so this speaks about you know um time effort being put in so i do feel like you will be spending time with someone from the past it could be a taurus virgo capricorn or someone who is just very money orientated they're professional they're not materialistic but they are very um they're very money orientated okay um so that's a clue as to who could be coming back so in the future you do have heart to heart conversations so i feel like um, i'm going to clarify the five of ariel so heart to heart conversations so i feel like you do need to sit down and honestly discuss your feelings um to this person or find out how they feel now there is definitely a possibility to have happiness with this person okay i feel like this could go one of two ways either you're going to accept this person back or you're going to reject them and again, that's been a common theme this month. Clarification on the five of Ariel. Okay, so someone has been left out in the cold and they're not happy about it and they're going to find a way to come back. So for some of you with the magician, this could be an Aries, um, but it's just someone, you know, who's been left out in the cold magically reappearing. Okay, so... Um, if this reconciliation hasn't happened yet, it's definitely coming, okay? Because you will talk to somebody and um, a situation is going to turn around. It's saying this person will magically appear. Um, there will be a successful beginning if you want. And you will have the Ten of Cups, which is, you know, happy families. So I feel like someone is going to use all of their power um, to manifest a new start with you. OK, um, it could be the other way around. You know, it may be you're um, kind of going after your love interest and there's a successful kind of beginning. OK, so I do feel as though someone from the past is definitely re-emerging re and this person is just, 
you know, kind of going to magically appear somehow. Okay, so as a barrier, you do have children. So for some of you, this may be someone you have children with. This person may have children. You may have children. Um... Or one of you really wants children. Okay, so children may be a factor between you both, you know, whether someone wants one or someone has some. Um, but I feel like, so for some of you, this is a fire sign, doesn't have to be. But I feel like with the King of Wands as a obstacle, maybe, um, you know, this is someone who's coming back or not and offering you an opportunity but you're not accepting it because the four of Raphael is that kind of um not accepting what's been offered so I feel like here this says seek out other possibilities look for the magic in life be aware of your own emotions okay so some of you um may feel like you want to turn down an offer but I feel like it will go well if you accept it, okay? Or you may turn down an offer, but then this person, you know, tries, re you know, really hard to kind of get you back. So, um, not back in like a bad way, like revenge, but back as in like, you know, let's sit down and talk about this kind of thing. So, um, now the factors that are going on in your life is you are trying to get back in control and maybe part of you getting back in control has been to walk away from a situation and the sun it's like you've kind of moved away from somebody and now you've been able to get your head together now now I feel like even though there's a separation I feel like you're not doing too bad at all the sun is all about being happy being optimistic so even though this, you know, there may be a separation, you've managed to get back in control of your life. And now you're just at a place where, you know, after you've been through so much heartbreak, now you're actually feeling happiness again. Um, so now what's going on with you and your love interest? Um, what's going on right now with your love interest is I feel like they definitely still have a lot of passion for you. But, okay, I'm going to clarify the Five of Swords. Um, I feel like maybe they're having arguments around them. So it could be your love interest because you did have healing family issues. I feel like this person, they still have passion for you. But they're arguing a lot with, with people. The Five of Swords is all about arguments, confrontation, empty victories, nobody winning. So maybe this person feels like they've actually one um you know i feel like maybe this person feels like they've got one over on you but they haven't you know this is a lose lose argument so if you're dealing with someone like that then that's not good at all this is also a spiteful revengeful energy so i don't know if you're dealing with someone that you know is is being a little bit like that but then again you've got the healing family issues so it could just be arguments surrounding the family no, if you look here, you've got healing family issues. So it could be, you know, that they're having a bit of a tough time. Um, but it's like, you know, they're still thinking about you. The Queen of Michael, um, this represents Aquarius, air sign energy. It could be it could be that they're appearing emotionally distant, but you know, the passion is still there. And okay. Before I carry on, I'm going to clarify the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords here? Clarification on the Five of Swords. Okay, yeah, so you've got the Emperor, so they feel like they are actually in control, but I don't feel as though they are. The Emperor is all about someone being a boss, it represents someone in leadership, um, it represents someone who's, you know, a authority figure, so it could be, you know, that they kind of feel like they've got the upper hand in the situation, 
but what they don't know is that you're actually doing just fine so um maybe this person that you're dealing with was quite controlling and this is why you've walked away let go of con control issues so and with the six of michael the situation oh um it's the light at the end of the tunnel breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans so you've definitely moved away from this person it could be down to their controlling behavior and this person feels as though they've got the upper hand but at the same time it's kind of weird because they still want you they still have passion for you um and they are coming back so um what they want so i feel like they want to um end any kind of imbalance you know this cat and mouse chase the unrequited love it doesn't mean that um you know this whole they don't love you kind of thing what it actually means is um it's like this imbalance where one is always chasing the other one so they could want to put an end to that and what they want is you you are appearing as the queen of swords this is you so whether you're a man or a woman watching this if you're an Aquarius your love interest wants you and they want to have a commitment with you and they want to end any kind of um cat or mouse chase so the crowning energy is free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so um I definitely feel as though you do need to get back in control of the situation okay um you know, and you are definitely moving forward. I feel like you are definitely determined to get back in control, okay? And the way to do that is to be in control of yourself. For some of you, this is a cancer. Um, but this says determination, self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. So really... Um, I feel like you are kind of regaining con control now, okay? You are definitely freeing yourself from a imbalanced situation. You've got the two of pentacles, which is all about balance. So I feel like now you're finding your feet again. You are regaining balance. Maybe some of you have different options in love as well. You know, the two of pentacles speaks about, you know, maybe kind of like juggling, exploring your options, which isn't a bad thing. But I feel like you were definitely getting back in control of the situation now. Now, what you want, you do want your soulmate, okay? Um... And you've got the Knight of Ariel, so you want this person to come back in. And you've got the Six of Cups, so you might be thinking about this person. I feel like you do want them to resurface, and they want you as well. Um, but it just seems like it's a little bit of a messed up situation for whatever reason. But you will have a conversation with this person, and you do have the ability to be happy with them. So... I feel like you definitely have some hurdles, but it can be worked out. So, and you also have getting to know one another as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens, so you definitely have a bond with this person. So, everything happens for a reason, release regret and embrace your opportunities for happiness, search for the silver lining, and you've got the star card, so you are getting back to yourself, you know, you are have so even though things haven't gone how you want, you're still having hope and faith in the situation, okay, and everything happens for a reason, and with the star card, that's dreams becoming a reality as well, and, you know, your wishes being fulfilled, so I feel like May will be an adventurous month. I feel like the chase is definitely on. I feel like someone's chasing you. You kind of push them away and then they fight harder to come back. Some of you have different options. But, you know, you will end up spending time with somebody because you are getting to know them and you're creating a bond or making a bond that you have with someone even deeper. Okay. Um. So I feel like it's going to be a good month for Aquarius. So I'm going to do my element spread, which is where I see what's going on for those of you who are dealing with each sign. Um, so let me pull out my cards. Okay, so this is going to um, represent those of you who are dealing with fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, air signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. 
and Taurus Virgo Capricorn. So I'm going to start with fire signs. So let's see what's going on for those of you dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What love and romance messages do you have for Aquarians dealing with fire signs for May? Okay, so this one is literally popping out. So I'm going to take this one. So here we have the Knight of Gabriel. So someone's coming back. Um, again, just be a little bit wary because, you know, the Knight of Gabriel, you know, he um, enters our life quickly, but then he's kind of gone again. And you did have the um, the unrequited laughing, which represents about cat and mouse chase, you know, this imbalance. So just be a little bit cautious. What's going on for, fire, um, for Aquarians dealing with fire signs for me? But this person is offering some kind of emotion. Okay, um, so I feel like they are they are coming in and they're offering their emotions to you, like they're wearing their heart on their sleeve. Um, there's very deep emotions here. What's going on for Aquarians dealing with fire signs from me? Yeah, and there is a potential for a new start. It's your lucky day, new resources of money, time or support, a change in job or a promotion. So you could be spending time with this person. What's going on for Aquarians dealing with fire signs for May 2018? What's going on for Aquarians dealing with fire signs for May 2018? The Seven of Michael, there's a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the answer. Review all the details. So you're being asked to look at this person. Definitely review them, okay? Because even though they're coming in, they're offering emotion, they're wanting to spend time with you. Um, the Seven of Michael is kind of like that, that um, thief energy. So clarification on the Seven of Michael. Clarification on the Seven of Michael. Embrace your inner child, new friends, or rekindled relationships. Okay. <clears throat> so this person is definitely, you know, pulling out all the tricks to try and rekindle things with you, but there's just something a little bit off. Um, clarification on the Seven of Michael. Clarification on the Seven of Michael. Yeah, okay. So they are trying to really have the second chance with you. Okay. Um, so maybe it might not be such a bad thing, but with the Seven of Swords, which is the same as the Seven of Michael, um, just kind of make sure you know everything about this person before you rekindle with, with them or or um, before you decide to give it a second chance with them, okay? Because I feel like there was a huge chance to rekindle with this person, but just kind of review them at the same time. So it's not um, bad at all. Just kind of be a little bit careful. But this person's definitely coming back. You're going to spend time with them, okay? Um, so I feel like they're kind of really gonna like again pull out all of the um stops to spend time with you to make it happen okay and this could be why you had the magician in your outcome um someone you know really making something happen you know the magician he he's exactly that he's a magician so he can be like a little bit of a trickster and you know do certain things to manipulate the outcome that he wants so it so he could be kind of being a little bit sneaky so he can spend time with you um you know so I, so i don't know if you're going to be a little bit resistant um and then he's going to try and kind of break down that guard that you might have so that's an interesting one so if you lot are dealing with fire signs let me know in the comments what's going on so this is for those of you who are dealing with a fellow aquarius a libra or a gemini so what's going on for those Aquarians who are dealing with fellow air signs for May? Ooh. 
there will be an offer of commitment. What's going on for Aquarians? I've got a really good feeling about this air sign. What's going on for Aquarians dealing with air signs for May 2018? You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. So I feel like it may take a little bit of time, but I feel like if you're patient with this person or they may be being patient with you, you will get some, some commitment. I've got a really good feeling. It's like as soon as I said that, spirit was like, yes. <laughs> so... Um, what's going on for Aquarians dealing with air signs from May 2018? What's going on for Aquarians dealing with air... Okay. What's going on for Aquarians dealing with air signs from May 2018? Yeah, so be... <clears throat> so be patient with this person okay you will end up in a committed romantic relationship with them um but this is definitely a offer of love okay so um i feel like it's slowly coming in for you in terms of commitment so one more card for aquarians dealing with air signs for okay yeah, and the Knight of Ariel. There's so much to accomplish. Make a very detailed plan. Being watched over by someone kind. So, you've got the Knight of Ariel. Um, so, this is someone who is kind of deciding. Um, they don't rush. They take their time. Um, so, I feel like in terms of an offer, it's, you know, this offer of commitment, this relationship is coming in for you. But it might not be in May, but... May is going to be significant in you two working up towards a relationship. So, it's interesting, but there is definitely a potential for commitment here. With the Divine Guidance card, this is all about commitment. You know, this represents the Hierophant. The Hierophant is the priest. So, um, you know, this could even be a potential marriage partner. Or if it's not a marriage partner, then it's just a deep, um, committed relationship. So, I feel like it's looking good if you're dealing dealing with an air sign. It's looking good if you're dealing with a fire sign as well. Um, so, let's move on to those of you who are dealing with Scorpios, Pisces or Cancers. What's going on for my Aquarians dealing with water signs for May 2018? New beginnings. What's going on for Aquarians dealing with water signs? Okay. The moon. Some of you definitely dealing with a Pisces. What's going on for Aquarians dealing with water signs for... May 2018. The Seven of Gabriel. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. Claim your personal power. What's going on for Aquarians dealing with water signs for May 2018? You have the will. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So here you can see twice that we're being shown the word new beginnings. New beginnings, new beginnings. So I feel like there will be a new beginning for you and this person or you're making a final judgment. Okay, um, let me clarify why the moon is here. Clarification on the moon. Clarification on the moon. The eight of Gabriel, a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. 
Some of you may be speaking to this person secretly. Or you may be confused in what direction to kind of go in. Because the Eight of Gabriel is like... Um, how can I explain it? It's kind of like that really fast um, energy. So it's kind of like a bow and arrow. And if you kind of think of the Eight of Gabriel as someone's shot a bow and arrow and you know, and the arrow's heading towards a certain direction. Um, I feel like some of you might be confused as to what direction to go in with this person. But um, I feel like this person is persistent with you because they want to, you know, move things forward with you. They want to have a new beginning with you. Okay, so I feel like somebody is determined if you're dealing with a water sign. Um you may not see very clearly what direction things are heading in, but 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 it is moving forward, okay, definitely. Um, and as well, you may be having some kind of communication with them, but you may not. I feel like if this is a water sign from the past, I feel like you're going to be like either speaking to them maybe in secret or you're confused as if you um kind of like deciding, should I message them back, should I meet them? that kind of thing so let's move on to those of you who are dealing with taurus virgos capricorns earth sign energy what's going on for aquarians dealing with earth signs from may 2018 you have the commitment card again so some of you are going to be committed to a um taurus virgo capricorn the divine Guidance card is the Hierophant. This represents Taurus as well because it's all about traditions, values. Um, that's Taurus's energy. They like they like values. They like traditions. They like things, um, you know, done a, done a certain way. So I feel like there's definitely a chance you could end up in some kind of relationship with this Earth sign. So what's going on for aquarians dealing with earth signs from may 2018 the emperor so someone is taking charge of the situation for some of you this may even be your boss or someone at work that you fall for doesn't have to be but if if it is then you know <laughs> um so so if it's not a boss or someone at work that you're dealing with um you know because this can also represent the workplace where they're strict um, kind of rules or um, kind of behaviour codes, how you kind of have to behave. It's kind of a strict work environment. The emperor is like a boss, so some of you dealing with a boss at work. Um, but if not, then I definitely feel as though someone is kind of taking charge to initiate um, some kind of commitment. What's going on? For Aquarians dealing with Earth signs for May. You have the world, so a very happy ending coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So what I feel here is some of you want clarification on where you're heading with this person. Um, so it could be that they're asking you, what are we doing? What is this? You might be asking them, but I feel someone wants to... Um, just um kind of wants to know what what the situation is with with you and them so if you're dealing with a earth sign i feel like either you or they want clarity what's going on for aquarians dealing with earth signs for may 2018 The King of Michael, a situation that calls for honest and open communication. So you could definitely be speaking to this person about where the relationship's heading. Um, and you could decide to enter into some kind of commitment, as I've said. So I feel like you will get some clarity. You will, um, in May, know what's going on between you and this person. Um, but... You need to be open and honest about it, okay? I'm not seeing this as someone who is um, emotionally detached, okay? Um, they may be, but, you know, the King of Swords or the King of Michael isn't just someone who's emotionally detached, although it can mean that. Um, it can just be someone who just says straight up, look, 
what are we doing? So I feel like May is going to be a very good month in terms of love for you, Aquarius. So let me know what's going on for you in love. Um, I do love hearing all your love stories and what's going on. So definitely don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you for next month's reading. Have a brilliant May, Aquarius.